This video is intended to uh, provide some tips and perspectives uh, to help um, everyone pull together their final compilation post, which is due in the final week in EDLD 5302. Um, in the same way that you've developed a compilation post in 5305, you need to do something similar in 5302, and this assignment outlines what we're asking you to do. You're going to be doing a compilation post in every single course in the ADL program, so establishing a good pattern is going to be really important to your success. So one of the things that I would recommend that you do is always read the final assignment. So in, in this particular course, you're looking at the assignment three, the ePortfolio, and there's very specific instructions what you're supposed to be able to do. Uh, we're asking you uh, to build that your ePortfolio here, and, and this is something that's the, the starting process. Um, you might have already built an ePortfolio in 5303, well then you need to add to it. Okay, So depending on whether or not you've built an ePortfolio before in another course, or you um, are just doing this for the first time, there's different uh, perspectives. So uh, keep that in mind. We, we have two different sets of instructions that are just slightly different in terms of where you are at. Okay, So if you've never built an ePortfolio before, and you've done it for the first time, you've doing, you're doing this course in conjunction with 5305, well then there are three key things you're going to need to include in your ePortfolio in addition to building the ePortfolio. That's your growth mindset, your learning manifesto, and uh, learning networks block. Now, when I say you need to include, you need to include a context for those and a link to the actual um, uh, activity like the growth mindset plan. Okay. Be careful, we caution you, you do not simply copy and paste all your assignments in a big one page. That, that just does not work. Uh, people aren't, aren't interested in doing that. What you need to do is create a short summary and a context that will uh, introduce those activities. Also, you need to actually create a context for your final post. For example, um, one of the most important questions you need to address when you do that is how do I see the growth mindset failing forward and COVA uh, learning approaches impacting my impact my learning as I continue the program. You're go starting your journey down uh, towards developing a learner's mindset. So this is the context that you need to create. Okay, uh, So keep this in mind as you are moving forward. If you've had um, uh, the EDLD 5303 ePortfolio course, well then you've already got your ePortfolio experience. Now you're building this 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 post um, in, in a slightly different way, but you still need to include your growth mindset, the learning manifesto link, the learning networks link, but you also need to include additional uh, reflections and um, uh, address that context that we've encouraged you to uh, build out. Also, remember, this is submitted as a link to your URL, uh, sorry, to your ePortfolio. Uh, uh, a URL or a link to e your ePortfolio is what you're submitting. You're not submitting this as a document. So keep that in mind. Now, um, remember, you're always using APA formatting. Uh, probably encourage you use to a you use APA 7. Uh, that's the most recent one. It's been around for over a year, so we encourage you to use it. If you happen to use a Google site um, for your ePortfolio, although we would encourage you to consider something uh, more significant if you're going to take 5303, you have some time to explore that. Uh, make sure that your URL is accessible outside of your domain. So do test it to make sure that people can see it. Uh, don't don't make us work for it to try to find and email you and get set the permissions. So depending on if you're using Google in your domain, in your organization or school, sometimes access, unless you make it visible outside of that domain, uh, will be restricted to people who are part of your Google, um, Google domain. So keep that in mind. I'm going to point to an example uh, of previous student work that will help provide a context of, of what we're, what potentially you can do. Now, be careful. Don't don't just copy this, but this is a good example of what it your final compilation post could look like. So uh, this is a previous student, um, interesting perspective on on the website, and here's this particular post. Uh, the URL goes directly when when she submitted it. It took us to this page, and here we are. Here's a context, learning mindset, and and there's a context about how this student was moving towards the the learning mindset by looking at the growth mindset, looking at COVID, ex experiencing these things. So here's a context, a couple of paragraphs, create the context. Um, there's a visual here uh, that provides a context for the growth mindset, and then there's a link to the growth mindset.
okay and the whole growth mindset is is expanded upon now the exciting thing here is I can use a back button because this student didn't spawn new windows so remember you do not want to spawn new windows that's going to be important uh, there's there's a context for the learning manifesto a link to the learning manifesto easy to move around great wonderful all the pieces are here and, and, and I can easily whoops I can easily go back uh, to uh, the main page there is um, a link to the learning networks right there's a link to additional reflections and readings and different things um, all these pieces are uh, part of this move towards a learner's mindset that this student has uh, talked about um, and so the site is easy to navigate wonderful to move around new, new pages aren't spawned wonderful example of what a compilation post could look like so we encourage you to explore some of the examples that we've provided but more importantly make this your own this is your your final compilation post this is your learning journey that you're starting on so this is your learning journey and this is a reflection on your learning journey you're pulling all the pieces together um, to share with uh, your audience um, where you're at and where you're planning to go so keep these things in mind as you move forward um, in this course and in the program